All right, good morning, lovely students. Okay, today we're going to talk about tree diagram, okay? So, we're going to talk about flipping a coin. How many sides does a coin have? Two. Two. What are my options when... Heads and tails. Heads and tails, correct? I am going to flip this two times, okay? Let's pretend on my first flip I land heads. And then on my second flip I also land heads. So I abbreviate that, Jesus, as... H, H, heads, heads, okay? Now, raise your hand if you can give me another possible combination. Yes? Heads and tails, right? On the first one, it lands heads. On the second flip, it lands tails. I would abbreviate that as heads, tails, okay? Now, um, what is uh, another option? Um, tail, tail. Tail, tail. And the last option. Who can figure out the last option? Tail, tail. Very good. Because the order matters, right? You can be like, but Ms. Amelia, we already have a head's tail. Yeah, but this one, the order is different. First came tails, then came heads. So tail, heads. So how many different, focus, how many different outcomes are there? Four. Four. Here are your outcomes. Outcomes are your like end products. I have four. One, two, three, four different outcomes. So I'm going to draw a tree diagram with this information. So this first branch of my tree represents my first toss. Represents my first toss. This is Amali. Good morning. Yes. Okay, I'll send them over. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, I shall see. <laughs> Wasn't me. Okay. Heads, tail. Heads, tail. Okay, focus on this. This is my first flip. I can either get a head or a tail on my first flip. Did you write this down? Okay. On my second flip, what can I get? Tails and heads again. So I can get heads, and then on my second one, I can get another set of heads, or I can get tails, right? My second one, I got, I mean, on my first round, was, let's say I got tails, but on my second round, I could have gone heads or tails. This is a tree diagram. It represents exactly what we did over here, just in a different format. Now, count all the end branches, all the ones that stick out. How many end branches four, are there? Four. One, two, three, four. The same thing as this. Now, I am going to circle a combination. What combination did I circle? Heads, tails. Heads, tails. What landed first? Heads. What landed second? Tails. Good. So you can read it. What I circled was a combination of heads, tails, in that order, meaning first you landed on heads, then you landed on tails. Are we okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Let me see something that I did for first period. Okay. Let's move on to the number one. What is the probability of getting tails on both flips. Tails, tails. How many times do you see tails, tails? One. Where else do you see tails, tails? Well, I mean, this represents the same thing. So how many times? Oh, so here, right here. So one out of four. Does anybody know the percent of one fourth? Okay, what is the probability of getting at least, at least one tail? Do I have a tail here? No. Do I have a tail here? Do I have a tail here? Do I have a tail here? 
How many have at least one tail? Which is equal to what percent? They're circled in blue. At least one tail. So you go back and go, okay, how many times at least the, the tail represent? Did I have a representation of a tail? Okay, example one. A family has two children. Draw a tree diagram to show the sample space of the children's genders. Then determine the probability of family having two girls. Okay, so we have two children, right? So we start off with two branches. What does each re each branch represent? Children. 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 Okay, what's my first option? Boy, girl. Okay, boy or girl. This would be the firstborn. The firstborn can be either a boy or a girl. <coughs> what would be my second? Uh, no, what would be the second child? Girl. So if it was a boy, then they could have a a boy, or they could have a boy and then a girl, girl right? Or they could have a girl and then they could have a boy. a boy, or they can have a girl and a boy. another girl, right? Oh. Because you're trying to figure out what are the different combinations. It could be a boy and a boy, a boy and a girl, a girl and a boy, or a girl and a girl. Right? Does that make sense to you? Right? Okay. Now, determine the probability of getting two girls. So I'm looking for girl, girl. Circle it. Where do you see girl, girl? You should have circled that, right? So, because this one is not girl, girl, this one's boy, girl, right? And this one is girl, boy, but this one's girl, girl. Okay, so what's the probability of getting girl, girl, girl and girl? So, how many times did it appear? One out of one, two, three, four. Your end branches, the ones that stick out, is your bottom number. <coughs> However many little lines stick out, one, two, three, four, that's your bottom number. However many times I can circle it, that's your top number. Question? Okay. I'm going fast, but hopefully it sticks little by little. Divide? Oh, what's the percent? 25%. Okay. Okay. Tree, tree diagram practice. You are trying to decide, read along, so put your eyes on your paper, read it, read it, because a, a big part of your test is reading, so let's practice. I will read it out loud, you follow with your finger and your eyes on your paper. Read it to me, Gabriel. You are trying to decide if you should be able to get a new proceeds of first class or regular pay in the U.S. only one copy. I will choose either first money or copy. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. So how many crust choices do I have? Three. How many toppings do I have? Two. Okay? So construct a tree diagram to show the possibilities you have to choose one crust and one crust and one topping. Okay. So how many crusts do I have? Three. So how many branches should I start off with? Three. Three. One, two, three. What would I label them with? <coughs> oh, different types of crusts. Different types of crust. Feel free to abbreviate. Regular, thin, deep. If I get regular crust, ladies and gentlemen, if I get regular crust, what kind of toppings can I get? Uh, pepperoni, or I can get sausage. What if I get the thin crust? Pepperoni. 
You shouldn't stop writing. Okay? I abbreviated it. Okay. How many outcomes are there? Okay, I want to know, what's the probability that I get, will get thin with pepperoni? So circle that. Where is thin pepperoni? The middle. The middle, right? Thin pepperoni. This right here would be thin pepperoni. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Because on the test, I may not have you draw it. I might just have you answer a question, and you have to be able to read this. Like, what does she mean by thin pepperoni? Oh, okay, here's thin, here's pepperoni. Oh, there's only one option. So that would be one out of six. Now, here's another question. What's the probability that I will order a pizza, pizza with pepperoni? One. Three out of six. How many pizzas have <coughs> pepperoni on them? Three. Put a star next to them. Yes. So how many stars did you put? Three. Three out of six. So regular with pepperoni, thin with pepperoni, deep dish with pepperoni. Yes? Pretty easy? What percent is three six? Fifty percent. Are we okay? Yeah. Okay. Number two. How would your sample space change if you add bacon as your third choice? Uh, yeah. oh, I yep. We're not going to discuss it, Jasmine. A little part of me just broke. Okay. Oh my gosh. If you add bacon, if you add bacon, it would be, I would be adding another line right here, right? And it would be bacon, and it would be right here, bacon, and it would be right here, bacon. You see how lightly I did that? So therefore, how many outcomes will there be now? One. Nine. It would be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, nine. If I added another topping. Okay? We're not going to draw it. But do you guys see what would happen? Yeah. Okay. Jane wants ice cream. So do I. The ice cream shop has the below tree diagram in the window to show customers possible combinations of the ice cream they can sell. So, I can either have a cone or a cup, right? The flavors are vanilla or chocolate, and the toppings are, okay? Do you guys see them? No. The denominator, which is your outcome, is what, guys? What's your outcome? How did you guys get 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You add up all the lines at the end, Shade. If you add up all the ones that stick out, that's your outcome. That would be your denominator. All right. We're going to skip number four for now. Don't cross it out. We come back to it later if we have time. How many combinations can Jane get with vanilla ice cream? Three. Three. Six. Four. So vanilla with sprinkles, vanilla with nut, vanilla with strawberry all in a cone, or vanilla in a cup with sprinkles, nuts, or strawberries. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. It would be six. Do you guys see that? Wow. 